All right, guys, so today I want to walk you through a few things that we can check if your Ring doorbell is not detecting motion. It's really any Ring device this is going to work for, but uh, I know a lot of you are looking for the Ring doorbell, so we'll focus on my Ring doorbell here within the settings. I have five things that we can check to make sure that this thing is working properly. If this video helps you, if you could just consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It's a really easy way to support the work we're doing and I really appreciate it. So let's dive in. Now first, this is gonna seem very uh, counterintuitive maybe, but uh, from the device page, we need to make sure that we have motion detection ticked on. So if you're looking at this and that motion detection is turned off, well obviously we're not gonna have any of the motion detection functionality here. So just double check that that is toggled on. The next thing we're gonna check is the actual motion sensitivity. Inside of the app, we would look for motion settings, and then in motion settings, we're gonna scroll down here to motion sensitivity. I have mine pretty low, but if we wanted to turn it up, we definitely could all the way to the max. Uh, test this out. I mean, I would start a little bit higher, uh, push it to the max and see which one is giving you the uh, right amount of alerts that you're looking for. I'm gonna turn mine back down. We also want to verify our motion zones. So here is my ring doorbell here and you can see I have the package zone outlined and I also have my default zone. So my zone, I really just want my patio patio, covered porch, whatever this thing is called, to be highlighted. And I really do my best to miss the street because I don't want notifications whenever a car drives by or somebody walks down the sidewalk in front of my house. So um, to change these, all you need to do is select one and just move it around as follows. So again, this is the package zone. I'll hit done here. Let me go to default zone, see these uh, circles, just dragging them around and making sure that any area that we want the camera to detect motion in is covered in blue. I'll hit done, I'll hit save, and that should do it. Now we also wanna make sure that our, de our device is placed in a way that it allows it to catch motion. So the uh, recommended height is 48 inches. And we also want to make sure there's no obstructions or things of that nature. Uh, if you look at my patio, I have these chairs and table right here. That might be considered an obstruction that doesn't allow the camera to see everything, uh, which would, of course, reduce the number of uh, motion alerts that I'm getting. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the Wi-Fi. We wanna make sure that the Wi-Fi is strong and that it's reaching all the way to our device. So in my case, my router is in the back side of the house and my doorbell is in the front side of the house. I have a ring chime in between those that helps extend the Wi-Fi to the doorbell and it also acts as a chime for my doorbell. I'll drop a link to that in the description. Uh, but here, we're just gonna go into device health and we're gonna check a few things. So we have the signal strength, which is RSSI. The lower the number, the stronger the strength. So I'm at 58, which is good. Excellent would be 40, and then you're gonna have some issues uh, 61 and up. Since my doorbell is wired, uh, my transformer voltage is good. And if we scroll down to here, uh, if none of these worked, if nothing is actually helping, we can actually reboot this device from the app, which is super helpful. And uh, I'm not gonna go through this process, but obviously we just follow the uh, on-screen prompts that allow you to reboot your doorbell. So very, very handy here. I've had my Ring devices probably, well, since I bought this house, so four years now, a little over four years, and I really haven't had very many problems with the actual devices. So I hope something in this video helped you out. If it did, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.